so I started 2004 just, you know, betting. Uh, basically, I'd buy an upmarket. You know, if the market opened up, I'd, I'd buy it. If it opened down, I'd sell it. And I hit a, a run, and um, and it went really unbelievably well for a period of time, as is often the case with people who get involved in, in this. For, for some reason, there is... Uh, there's a beginner's luck syndrome and you, you know, you, you hit a run and you think you're invincible, which is what I thought I was. And, um, and then in January, 2005, I remember got off a plane in Paris, checked my black brain, tell how long, that, <laughs> how long ago it is when I first yeah. that. And, uh, I'd been averaging down basically into what was to become a huge losing position. I mean, I lost a six, six figure sum that, so it was a gut-wrenching and sobering experience as an understatement. Yeah. The Blackberry didn't survive the tarmac. And, uh, and yeah, so I, I, you know, I lost a lot of money and it had a big impact on me and a big impact on, you know, I got divorced through that process and found myself in a position where I knew that it was feasible. People, I knew it was feasible to make money from the markets. I just didn't understand how to do it. And so... I networked as I had done as a headhunter and got through contacts, got introduced to um, a guy who became my mentor. He basically, you know, taught me the, the process of trading. But more importantly than that, and something that I couldn't have conceived of at the time, when I first had, well, we, we exchanged emails and then I had a telephone call with him. And um, he asked me about how I'd you know, how I got to where I was and I explained and, you know, I told him about the money and stuff and um, and he said, are you angry? And I hadn't really thought whether or not, I, I mean, it, you know, it was it was a meaningful sum of money, but I was fortunate I still had capital, you know, I wasn't, I wasn't broke, but I didn't, I didn't think it through and I, th and when I thought about it after the call, I thought, yeah, I am really pissed off, you know, this has impacted me badly. And so um, the next telephone call I had with him, uh, he said, uh, have you thought about the last call? And I was like, yeah, I have. I've really actually thought a lot about what, you, you know, what, what, it, what this has actually meant to me, losing all this cash. And so he gave me the name of a therapist, and I didn't speak to him again for six months, but I did speak to the therapist and went through a process of, like, self-inventory and, you know, understanding what had driven me to where I was and what I was going to need to do to get to a place where I could come back to this and and win at it and um and it was a you know it was a really meaningful period it changed my life um and I got involved in martial arts and, and meditation and just just totally changed my you know the way I was living and then had he then he taught me how to actually put in place a process, understand risk management, and actually turn the gambling into trading and making consistent money. Well, what, what, what a story, you know, going from having the, you know, beginner's luck to then losing money to then having to restart all over again, yeah. learn certain things, get a mentor, and then, you know, him having to send you to a therapist and understand. He, did, he, didn't, he didn't send me. He, he, when, after we had that conversation, the second conversation, he was like, "Look, I, if it if it has had that type of impact on you, yeah. you're never going to make it in this business because you're going to be coming from a place of revenge, mm -hmm. and that's really w what I would have been doing. And so I'd have actually ultimately gone through all the cash, trying to make back what I th what I'd lost. When in reality, I had to come back to it from a place of um, presence and and perspective." And, you know, not thinking or not harboring that thought of, of loss and revenge.